Hey, it's me. It's Don. It is um, the Sunday before uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, I hope that you have a few things to be thankful for. A um, couple things I really want to talk about. Before I do, I'd like to thank the people who have gone to uh, the, the website and dropped a few uh, nickels in. I was very surprised to find out that some folks had already done that. I appreciate it. I thank you, whoever did that. Um, uh, our, the website is uh, radiodon.yola site, Y O L A S I T E dot com. Uh, most of the stuff that we've done is up there, and on top of that, you can uh, put something in the kitty. Also, you can shop at our uh, Amazon store. Just click on Amazon, go to one of the links. Uh, it's the holiday season, and Black Friday is coming up this week, and of course, Cyber Monday, a week from tomorrow, Monday. Uh, and you can do all your shopping over at uh, the Amazon store through our link, uh, and uh, that helps us out a lot. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I have a friend who is uh, more than slightly to the right of me politically, and she sent me a uh, a link. Not didn't even send a link, just basically uh, copied off of a email. Now you've probably seen this particular email or something like that. It is a, supposedly a uh, it was supposedly a quote that was made by a an unnamed official in the uh, Czech Republic government in an unnamed European newspaper. Doesn't mention if it was the Spiegel or or the Times of London or or Pravda or whatever. Basically it says that uh, Obama is a fool and those who voted for him are bigger fools and that the uh, American electorate is pretty much uneducated, which is true, uh, blah, 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 blah. And my friend got it from an email that this person got uh, earlier today. And my friend believed it. There were no links to the uh, newspaper in which this uh, quote was made. Again, though, there's no name to the official. There is no name to the, to the newspaper that it was quoted on. No date or anything like that. Uh, and even though maybe uh, the quote may have made a salient point or two, how do I know the quote is real? You know, it's amazing that, that we will believe anything as long as we want to believe it. I get emails all the time, too. The stuff that I get sometimes, in many cases, from folks that are supposedly on my side could keep your lawn green for the next 20 years if you get my drift. These are things that are either unsubstantiated or if they are true, they've been blown up to something bigger than it really is. And I'll give you an example. We talked about this before. Uh, basically, the uh, fact that Ann Romney owns two Cadillacs. Now, first of all, Ann Romney should be given a medal for buying American, but that's another story. Ann Romney owns two Cadillacs, and, and because of that, Ann Romney could not possibly understand, know, or appreciate the people in the 1%. Well, I, I did some checking because I know that Cadillacs used to be, you know, the uh, 
symbol that you've arrived, the symbol that you are someone who has made it in this country. Now all a Cadillac is is a Chevy with better trim. Uh, I checked these two big honking Cadillacs that uh, Ann Romney had. One was a 2008, the other was a 2006. These are used cars. These are the type of cars you buy for about five thousand dollars on a uh, at, at a used car lot on the border. Say habla espanol and. So yes, she owned two Cadillacs, but they weren't new Cadillacs, and and besides, they're probably you know entry level. I mean, you know, I don't know any poor people who drive Cadillacs. You don't live in Southern California. I see people who barely make it drive Sclades. No, I did not say welfare. And that's another thing. You know, I'm just trying to figure out where do all of these people who supposedly are driving welfare Cadillacs get the money? Because, you know, I get 200 I, You know how much money I got from, the, from, from General Relief? About $200. I can just see me taking that $200 and buying me a Cadillac. But we want to believe it because it fits the meme. It fits whatever we want it to fit. And that includes all the garbage we get in emails. I mean, haven't you figured that? I mean, it's like, first of all, where does this person get the time to gather all the uh, email addresses to send whatever that person's going to be sending? Should that person be, you'll say, employed or something? I know. I should talk. But at least, A, I owed up to my unemployment, and B, when I do post something, I don't think I've ever really sent a mass email like, you know, like, you know, the, the Czech Republic quote. Um... If I do send something, it's a, it's something that comes from a reputable source with a link. Now, some people don't like me sending links because, uh, why can't you say it yourself? I said, well, if I said it myself, uh, where's the, uh, the proof, you know, for where I got, got the idea from? We all get our ideas from someplace. So I just say, look. This verifies what I said. Here's the link. Verifies what I said. Now you can, you can say it's wrong or not, but at least you know where it came from. I get this remnant of an email with no link, no name of newspaper, no name of who said the link, but people are are people are believing this as you know as if it's gospel. It's all over the right wing. Um, blogosphere and uh, and uh, tweetosphere and stuff like that. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on Free Republic. It's on a few sites that I would never, ever go to for good reason. And people believe it. Why? Is there proof that this person actually said it? No. It's just that here, here's some. It's in a foreign paper. It's a guy from the Czech Republic who happens to be in the government. A government which, by the way, is not really doing that well. Both Czech Republic and the United States grew their G, uh, their uh, gross national product GMP, whatever it is, by two percent last year. Take that as take that as a with a grain of salt. I got that, by the way, that information from researching the web through Google. You can do the same thing too. 
all I'm saying is before you post something, check it out. And don't go to sites that, you know, will pretty much mirror what you're thinking. You know, anybody who, I mean, look, I, I post, you know, daily posts from time to time. I don't say that I'm being objective by doing that. But if I'm looking for an objective source for something, I wouldn't go to Daily Coast. I wouldn't go to Huffington Post. I wouldn't go to Drudge Report. But some people say, well, Drudge said, all Drudge is is a news aggregate. Drudge doesn't say that much. But he'll post something up there, and he'll put up his own little uh, headline, and that constitutes Drudge saying something. People. Like I said, the quote that I talked about has one salient point. We are ignorant. We're ignorant because we want to be ignorant. We're ignorant because we don't want to have our minds challenged. I have a friend who wanted to challenge my mind, and one of the uh, lasting legacies of our friendship is the fact that I that I question everything. Right now, there are liberals who would like to uh, string my liberal ass from the highest tree. Because I question. Because I ask. Because I say, hey, you know, maybe it's not the way you think it is. Maybe, you know, radio doesn't work like NPR. Maybe... Uh, Barack Obama is not as liberal as you think he is. Maybe uh, Romney isn't as conservative as you think he is. Maybe a lot of stuff. But if you go out and looking for stuff and thinking that, okay, I will uh, post this only because I believe what it says, because I want to believe it, Instead of saying, hmm, hey, this is a fact. I can't refute it. I'll pass it along. You know, don't be ignorant, please. Check stuff out. Question everything. Question me. Question Fox News. Question MSNBC. Question everything and everybody. Question. Once in a while you might get an answer. Anyway, I have a big headache and I'm going to go to sleep. Have a good evening. I love you. And again, website, radiodon.yolasite.com. Night.